Welcome to this presentation. In this presentation, we shall see how to simplify exponents containing mixed fractions. So let's take a simple example. Example. Let's say we have 2, 1 over 4. This whole thing is raised to the power of 2. Let's say we have an example of this kind. So let us see what we need to do here. Step number 1. Step number one, we're going to uh, uh, identify what the base term is and identify what the exponential term is. The base term here is 2 and 1 fourth, and the exponential term here is 2. And in step number two, we're going to, we're going to apply the concept. And what is the concept? The concept is telling us the base term needs to be repeated the number of times the exponential term is indicating to us. So therefore, let us write the problem here. 2 1 fourth raised to the power of 2 can be expanded as 2 and 1 fourth times 2 and 1 fourth. The base term is repeated twice here and that is what we need we needed to do. And now we know how to simplify mixed fractions. What do we do? We take the denominator of the fraction and multiply it to the number on the side, take the product of that and then add it to the number on the numerator like this. 4 times 2 plus 1 divided by 4. We keep this whole thing in parentheses and we do, this, we do the same thing for the second mixed fraction. 4 times 2 plus 1 divided by 4. So we simplify the math here and the way we do that is we take 4 times 2 which is 8 and then add 1 to that and then divide it by 4 and then the second one also is very similar to this 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1 divided by 4 and now we simplify the numerator 8 plus 1 is 9 divided by 4 and the second part is 8 plus 1 is 9 divided by 4 therefore 9 times 9 is 81 divided by 4 times 4 is 16 now this is an improper fraction this is an improper fraction whenever the numerator is larger than the denominator that those types of fractions are called improper fractions we can represent this improper fraction as a mixed number and how do we do that? Let us take 81 and then divide it by 16. We, have, we are following the long division here and when we do that 16 times 5 is 80 and then when we subtract 80 from 81 we are left with 1 and therefore the remainder here is 1. Therefore 81 divided by 16 is going to be equal to 5 1 over 16 and that is our answer this is where we want to leave it so what did we do here we had a mixed fraction as as an exponent we recognized the base term we recognized the exponential term we applied the concept and then we simplified the math and then we were able to arrive at the answer. The answer for 2 and 1 fourth, the answer for 2 and 1 fourth raised to the power of 2 is equal to 5 1 over 16, just like that. Let's take another example. Let's take another simple example here. This time, let us say we put the negative sign, we put the negative sign inside the parenthesis, negative 2 1 fourth this whole thing is raised to the power of 2. Let's say we have an example of this kind. And here, we're going to follow the same process. We will identify the base term. We will identify the exponential term. The base term here is negative 2 and 1 fourth. And the exponential term here is 2. That is, that is the first step. In the second step, we're going to then, we're going to then expand the base term, the number of times the exponential term is indicating to us. So let us write down the problem. Negative 2 and 1 fourth raised to the power of 2 can be expanded as negative 2 and 1 fourth times, times 
negative 2 and 1 fourth like that and now we can simplify the mixed fraction here we, we, we can then come back and then say negative times negative is a positive 4 times 2 is 8 8 plus 1 is 9 over 4 this mixed fraction can be represented as a improper fraction of this kind and the same thing happens here which is 4 times 2 is 8 8 plus 1 is 9 over 4 so therefore we're going to multiply the numerated parts, multiply the denominated parts, and then we're going to get an answer. And therefore, this value is value is going to be equal to 81 over 16. 9 times 9 is 81. 4 times 4 is 16. And therefore, as we have seen in the previous example, when we take 81 and then divide it by 16, we're going to get the not, we're going to get we can represent it as a mixed number as follows 16 times 5 is 80 and when we subtract 80 from 81 the remainder here is equal to 1 and therefore the way we can represent the improper fraction 81 over 16 in as, as a mixed number is as follows 5 1 over 16 and that is our answer this is the answer we are looking for we can represent it as an improper, improper fraction as 81 over 16 or we can also represent the answer as 5 1 over 16 as, as a mixed number. So therefore what we have done here is the answer for a, a, an exponent which is in the form of a mixed fraction which is negative 2 and 1 fourth this whole thing raised to the power of 2 the answer can be expressed as an improper fraction as 81 over 16 or as a mixed fraction as 5 1 over 16. This is how we're going to simplify exponents that have mixed fractions in them. In my next presentation, we shall see how to simplify exponents containing multiple mixed fractions.